Yeah, Jacob, you know, Cal kind of talking about how when you came here, the plan was to redshirt this season. And obviously you've gotten to play and, and get increasing minutes and have a huge game like tonight. He called it like found money. Like this is this season for you and everything you're doing in this kind of unexpected year is like found money. Does it feel that way to you that this is just almost like a, a jump start on the development you were hoping to have long term here? Yeah, I think this uh, season is helping me a lot. I'm a learning I'm learning from everything that's going on um, and with the experience that I'm getting, I'm just getting better every day. John Clay. Jacob, you guys, I think we're, let me look, double check here. Yeah, you were 24 of 25 from the foul line. You were five for five. What, what was the key to hitting those big free throws, especially down the stretch? It's just a mentality. If you have that mentality that, you're going to make the shot. You're going to make the shot. You can't have no doubt in yourself. And I just had all the confidence in the world that I was going to make those free throws when they mattered. Jerry Tipton. Yeah, Jacob, I'm not sure if you guarded uh, Pippen much, but I'm wondering uh, why you think you guys were able to uh, contain him so well. Um, we just stuck to the game plan. The game plan was uh, no threes, get downhill and uh, play in and out. And out. So we had great help off the uh, ball and we ended up um, executing defensively. John Hale. Jacob, what does it say about this team that, you know, given how much you struggled in the final four minutes for most of the year, that now we've seen a couple of times where teams storm back into it against you, but you still made these plays down the stretch to close out a win? We're still learning as a team. Uh, I think we're getting better. Um, playing down the stretch, uh, we still make a few mistakes that we need to fix, but with experience, we're going to fix them. And I believe in this team. I believe this team is going in the right direction and we just got to keep pushing. Larry Vaught. Jacob, kind of along those same terms there with four minutes to go, the lead's down to four. And that's the time you guys have struggled. You step out there and bury that three pointer. How big a moment was that for you? And you also think, how big was it for the team to see you do that? I mean, coach has all the confidence in his players. He tells us to shoot if we're open. And in that situation, I was open. So I shot the ball and it went in. Okay, we'll have Lonnie and then Jerry, and then we'll be done. Lonnie? Yeah, Jacob, uh, uh, at the, I guess maybe the, the what, about two thirds way through the first half, you, uh, they went to a uh, zone on you all, and it seemed to me it, it slowed the, the team down. What were they doing to uh, for you all not to be able to uh, attack the zone very well? I think when he did, I think Jackson got a couple dunk, dunks. But at, uh, talk about that in a minute. Um, when they went zone, it kind of shocked us a little bit because they usually play man against us. But once we got a rhythm, uh, once we figured out the zone, we like you said, we got buckets. So it was it was good. Okay, looks like the last question will be Jerry Thibton. Yeah, Jacob, I just wonder uh, what kind of feedback you get from Obi uh, for how your season's going and, uh, and what feedback do you give him about his? We're always checking up on each other. That's big bro, I'm little bro, and we love each other. And um, we're just making sure our mental is right. Um, whether we have a bad game, whether we have a good game, we're keeping ourselves mellow. Um, it's just straightforward and we just got to stay focused. Um, through hard times and through good times, we just got to stay focused and remain humble. Is there a time during the day that you normally talk to him? You know what I mean? Is there a we usually talk. We usually talk at um, night because we're very busy during the day. So whether that's after his practices or after my practices, we talk and just catch up with each other all the time. Thanks. Okay, a lot. One more question, Jacob. How about Kyle Tucker? You you bring us home. Yeah, Jacob. Davion seems to just kind of be growing by the by the week and his confidence to be the guy to get the ball at the end wants it willing to take it very capable of making it as a as a team that's been trying and searching how to finish off these games how much more confidence is there heading down the stretch that you maybe have a closer now we have a uh, very com very much confidence in um, each other um, the coaches have confidence in our players but when we have confidence in each other, when we have confidence in um, our teammates, that just builds our, our self-confidence. And all the time we're telling Davion, shoot, shoot, shoot. And we believe that every shot that he sh um, is going to shoot is going to go in. So 
that confidence that we're putting in him is building his own confidence. So every time he shoots the ball, he thinks the ball is going in. And that's what happens. Awesome. Thank you, Jacob, for coming. Thank and you. thank you guys for being here. And we'll see you next time.